Hello and welcome friends. Welcome to another episode where I leave you affordable school fountain pens. This time I have for you a product made in China and you will see a quite quite affordable product. Let me give you a little zoom. I recently bought this fountain pen from my local Chinese store. It comes as you can see in this package. This is the price. So guys, for four ink cartridges, a converter and a fountain pen, I paid 5.50 lace, which means I paid 1.12 euros or 1.37 American dollars. Quite, quite an affordable fountain pen. I don't know much about this fountain pen. I have the number 3302. And on the back, we have some product characteristics. Let me see. Yes. So, among the product characteristics, we have unique ink release regulating system. The writing is stable, the handwriting is clear. Use the ink until the last drop. Replaceable ink bag, writing stream, easy to carry. Matters needing attention strictly prohibit the impact of hard objects on the tip of the pen, so as to avoid damage to the tip of the pen. Instructions. After inserting the ink bag, pay attention to clamping in place where the ink bag is installed. Please place the pen head down for 30 seconds to 1 minute to write normally. To ensure product quality, please use it with special ink bag for Yuhui pen. So, this is a Yuhui pen made by the Zhongliang Pen Factory in Yingwu Hotsai Industrial Zone. And I will search for it on the internet and leave you a map of this industrial zone. A warning, not suitable for children under 3 years old. Include small parts to prevent children from swallowing. So it includes small parts and you <laughs> must prevent uh, you and you you are advised to not let young children play with this fountain pen and of course a code bar. So guys, this is the pack. On the front we have only Chinese characters. So again, a Yuhui pen made by the Zhongyang Pen Factory at an unbelievable price. Uh, guys, I'm quite excited to see how it writes, so I will just open it. It opens quite, quite easy. Okay. So, first of all, let me take the converter. I'm quite curious to see the converter in action. And not two, but four ink cartridges, as you can see. For the writing sample, the ink cartridges seem perfectly in order but I will uh, use a ink. We will see about the ink. Yes, I was checking to see if another cartridge is uh, in uh, the body of this pen. Let me untwist it. Yes, it is like this. And I was checking to see if the body has some um, holes in it because I was thinking as a project to fill all this body with ink. <laughs> it would should be a really nice project. We will see about that. So, first of all, let me show you this ink converter. It's interesting, it has a ball inside. So it this system like a syringe, you just pull it like this. It's not like a piston filler. Okay, let me attach it to the pan. Okay, now it's attached. And let me think what ink to use. 
let me see I think I have um, a Faber Castle turquoise ink here it is 30 milliliters ink it is in this shade of turquoise okay I will open it now guys it is already done like here I will put it like this and now I will try to take and at first time it doesn't work and now look it has drawn ink but I need a little bit more ink to be drawn let me see yes I think this is okay now I will take a little tissue to clean the excess of ink from the grip section now it is cleaned I will put the barrel back in okay remember guys after you use the ink bottle always keep it on to avoid accidents I will remove those cartridges now before I will do the writing sample let me show you that we have a cap that can post and let me analyze the cap for a minute it's interesting we have this transparent plastic here but the ending it's all made from one part plastic part you can see this light blue part mm, I'm not a fan of this and um, it is a little bit flexy but you know that it will crack eventually from this time so a quite cheap cheap cap but it is not a problem on the body we have hip hop some Chinese characters and two dance again the name of the producer and its logo and we have one a, a soldier here with a gun equipped with uh, tactical clothes the grip section as you can see it is white simple plastic one it ends in this light slight concave ending quite nice right we have an imprint i believe oh no it's just uh, an ink on the steel nib the steel nibs has no imprints on it on the back we have an n written on the plastic feed i'm not so sure what n stands for and now i think guys we will be ready to do the writing sample this can be easily posted and i think i will post it so again using this we have a yuhui pen and i will sorry guys let me change the angle of the camera because i want you to see clearly the writing sample let me see yes just like this okay so i have here uh you hui pen the number of this pen is so number three three zero two it is oh a sign that it doesn't cap very well so it can be easy okay i will use it uncapped uh it, this is a product made by the jun li Ang pen factory located in yi wu ho high industrial zone industrial zone this by the way is made in china it costs 
a wonderful price 5.5 lays which is equivalent to 1.12 euros or 1.37 american dollars you already saw it includes a converter and three ink cartridges and um, now let me see if we have some flex to it i'm not expecting any flex no flex let me see the line variance so here no pressure and here a little bit of pressure no line variance no line variance okay let me see now how juicy it is hmm quite quite a, a nice juice not so juicy but uh, a medium juice let me try to reverse write with it and surprise surprise it writes quite fine the reverse writing i think it's is an um, fine and the normal nib i think it's an m m4 medium uh, by the way guys we have a steel nib steel nib i'm not so sure that it has um iridium or other strong material at the top of it it appears to be just simple rolled steel like a ball at the end of it but i have to tell you it is a wonderful wonderful nib guys so reverse writing definitely yes a possibility let me do a signature with this fountain pen quite quite nice and now let me tell you about the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog what can i say guys a wonderful wonderful writing piece for uh, students i believe i didn't left its dimensions on the screen but i have here just as a comparison the lamy 2000 model the popular model let me show them to you side by side and you will see that they are approximately the same length and although one is a piston filler and one is a cartridge and a converter they appear to be the same so this is a short comparison between the two the dimensions of the two fountain pens and i will leave also the dimension of this yuhui pen made by hunliang pen factory in china i will leave the dimensions on the screen This was my review, guys, of affordable school fountain pen made in China. You could buy it for approximately one euro on or one point thirty American dollars. Quite, quite a cheap fountain pen, and it comes with four ink cartridges and also an ink converter. What do you want more from a school fountain pen? I hope, guys, that you've enjoyed this review. If you've enjoyed this review, please subscribe to my channel to support my activity. In return, I promise that you will see new and vintage fountain pens reviewed on my channel each and every day, among with other unboxings and ink reviews, all related to fountain pens. I want to wish you to have a wonderful day wherever you are. We will see each other at the next episode. Till then, please take care of yourself in this pandemic time. Bye-bye and God bless.